Hasbro, we have a problem. Hey there, welcome, you're watching Popular Tribe. My name's Nick. I posted a video on the channel at the end of last week unboxing my new HasLab Proton Pack. It was a very exciting time for me. Still is a very exciting time to own one of these babies. Very much in love with it still. I think I will always love it. However, we have had our first argument. When I was filming my unboxing video, I was at the stage where I was connecting my Neutrona wand and connected up the hose and tried to hang and it onto the pack. Should and it wouldn't but hook on. too tangled up. Hook on here. I think that's it. It doesn't feel like it's secure, but I think that's it. And me being me, aka dumbass 99% of the time, I thought it was something that I was doing wrong. And no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't slot it into place. It wasn't connecting. And I thought, have I got it upside down? Well, I can't have. There's a hook on the end. And I had the camera running and it was a long, long shoot. And I wanted to get it done and I didn't want the video to outstay its welcome. So rather than try and get it done there and then, I simply just got the hook and I managed to like hook it on the bracket. So it's tentatively hanging on the edge. Later on in the video, when I finally had the pack on, I went to reach to grab the Neutrona one so I could switch it on, power up the pack, couldn't reach it. Part of that might be my own dexterity, part of that might be my circumference, and I think part of it was that the wand was in the wrong place. So again, I had to make another quick edit where I was kind of holding the wand behind me so I could just pull it over and finish the shoot, get it done. Clearly this must be something I'm doing wrong, I thought. Is it something that I was doing wrong? Is a gremlin responsible? Was it one of these guys? And then within about 24 hours of me posting the video, I was getting these comments underneath where people were like, you haven't fixed that gun on properly, that's gonna fall off. You're gonna do some damage. I'm terrified that's gonna fall off and break. And then I'm thinking, am I doing something wrong? Have I done something wrong? And then I try and fix it on again and I still can't work it out. It's technical. So anyway, yesterday I went on the Yes Have Some Guys Facebook page, Group Therapy. If you're not on there already, don't know what you're doing with your life. It's a closed group on behalf of the Yes Have Some YouTube channel. And it's a fantastic community. There's so many cool people on there showing their love of toys, showing their love of film, showing their love of Ghostbusters. And lots of like-minded people. And it's just a really chill time. And it's awesome to just go there and hang out every now and then. If you're not part of it, go and track it down. Um, and also subscribe to their channels as well. They have the Yes Have Some YouTube channel and the Toy Anxiety YouTube channel. Uh, love both of them. And they're kind of half the reason I started getting into YouTube was watching those guys over the pandemic. But enough plugging of those guys, even though they deserve it. And then somebody had left a message on there, Jim Maritato, also known as Venk Maniac on Instagram, had left a post on there saying he had the same problem. Jim, aka Venk Maniac, also has the Extraplasm podcast, which you should also track down. If you do have that love of all things Ghostbusters, do track it down if you can. I will leave links for Jim, because pretty much this is his discovery. Uh, so I will leave links down below for his podcast and his Instagram, and the same with the YHS guys. But I went back and forth with Jim on this Facebook post, and it does seem that the Neutrona wand, in some cases, doesn't have the correct V bracket, and it doesn't fit to the Proton Pack. This looks to be affecting a lot of people who bought the Neutrona wand on its first run, uh, maybe a couple of years ago. Um, the newer editions seem to have the correct bracket, from what I can tell. And Jim, Venk Maniac, had found that it only kind of fits halfway. I can't even get it to that stage. I can't even get it to lodge on whatsoever. Um, and I know he's unscrewed his and tried to either rotate it or swap it for another and try to manipulate it, and it still doesn't work. Uh, the other option was to take the screws out on the proton pack itself, but the problem is there, apparently, there are nuts on the other side that are on the inside of the proton pack which if you unscrew that bracket, if you want to change it over, those screws will fall off and land somewhere inside your proton pack. And then you've got to take the whole pack apart uh, to track those down to get everything back in place. So kind of a big disappointment there. If you go on Instagram and track down Vic Maniac, he posted a couple of very funny uh, rants about the whole thing yesterday. One about how happy he was to throw away the crappy bracket that the wand originally came with. And then the other one was about this problem that we're talking about now. 
And I know he's done a lot more leg work where he's taken some photos where, like I said, he has removed the brackets, tried to fit them on, and it's no go. He has got two Neutrona ones, and the later edition, that fits perfectly. But now I think he's had to open a mint inbox second double of the Neutrona wand just so he can get a working full get up. Yeah, so it's kind of crushing. I don't think the pack is something I was going to wear out really anyway. I'm not quite sure I have the confidence for that yet. Uh, maybe on a Halloween. And so having the new China one fixed fast to the side of the Proton pack, it's disappointing, but if I'm just going to have it as a display piece, it's not going to hurt me quite so much, I think. But I am kind of gutted for everyone else that this is affecting. And I don't know what the fix is. I don't know if Hasbro will address the problem. Uh, will they send out new brackets to those people who've bought New Trainer 1 from two years ago? It just seems like there's been some quality control issues there and it would be nice if they could provide some sort of fix. The cynic in me thinks that's probably not going to happen. But maybe if enough people shout out about it, we'll see. But tell me, what do you think? Have you been affected by this? Do let me know. Leave a comment down below. Uh, if you've managed to get anywhere with Hasbro, if you've got a fix, uh, please share, let everyone else know, that'd be fantastic. Like I said, I'm still very much in love with my Proton Pack. You're not sleeping with it, are you, Ray? It's always the quiet ones. But I am kind of bummed that I haven't got what I've paid for. But fingers crossed, something might happen. I am going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks so much for all the feedback on the last video. Uh, really appreciate all the kind words that came through. If you have the time and the inclination, I mean, I can't force you to do anything you don't want to do, but I'd really appreciate if you click like on this video, subscribe to the channel. But until next time, thanks so much for watching. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.